And we're back with some more oxygen not included. And long story short, we're trying to knock out all the achievements. Things are really hard. And right now, we pretty much don't have any spare man bar. We've got three duplicates who are pretty much spending all their time making mush bars so that we can get look of our look of war. However, that means we need one person running on the wheel, which leaves us sort of one person. Hey, whoa, you stop the science. Get on the wheel. See, I need them on the wheel because I don't want our constructor getting distracted. Yeah, they're currently snacking right now. Every time they take off their hat, I keep thinking it looks like an egg. Uh, never mind. They, uh, they should start building this, assuming... Ah, oh, damn it, the batteries aren't fully charged. Okay, once they've charged up enough of the batteries, they should come down here and start finishing this off. That will divert some of our excess hydrogen into powering our main grid, which should reduce the amount of time our constructor needs. Actually, you know what? You can run now. Science is slightly less important than freeing up the la slightly less important than freeing up the labor. Yeah, they should come down here and start building this. If they can get this built, that will allow us to use our excess hydrogen from our electrolyzer to dump power onto our grid, which means this guy won't have to run on it as much, which means we can knock out the science, and well, these three are just going to burn through an enormous amount of dirt and water, making terrible, terrible food. All right, let's get this built. And it's time for printables. Please tell me it's not something horrible. Ooh, pipsqueak again or oxalite? Oh, pipsqueak. It's got to be the pipsqueak, right? More meat equals betterness. Ooh, no, no, I cannot be... Damn, though, that's some nice electrics. No, 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 pipsqueak. Pipsqueak, we can, we can at least ranch that. Once those trees grow up a bit, we'll have something to actually... Uh, yeah, we'll have something to feed them on, and we can run a pipsqueak ranch. That will help us with meat. All right, uh, what's left? Uh, we just got to finish off the hydrogen generator. Once that's done... Yeah, I think we're, we we might have a little bit of spare labor to get some construction projects finished. It's actually a really good thing we built that as well. We were producing more hydrogen than we were consuming, so this actually resulted in a massive backlog. Uh, I'm thinking, research-wise, we should probably investigate getting some smart batteries. A few smart batteries would help, though we kind of need incubators as well. Oh, God. <laughs> you're, normally, you're you're like... Swimming in science, and you have everything you need in no time at all. Uh, considering it's only cycle 18, and we've already got an electrolyzer up, we've been a little bit, but this is the weirdest type of production run I've ever done. All right, you can go to there. Perfect. And, oh, yeah, I should probably hook up that last segment. Perfect. Okay, then. Well, that means, Zap, get off of there. Uh, we probably should put on a bigger battery as well. Jumbo battery should help out. Yes, I, I am aware heat is going to become a problem after that, but it should be the worst. Now that means Zap should be able to spend all their time, yes, running science instead of grabbing water. Come on, Zap, get on that. We need that science sorted pronto. It would also be nice to improve the toilets. Uh, they're a little bit jammed right now, but uh, whatever. Oh, we should probably set that to other direction. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yep, that's been going on for a while. Oopsie. Since we are running through that backlog of hydrogen so quickly, we're going to put in just a scooch of automation down here to hopefully help. Yeah, slow that down. Otherwise, we're going to burn it off too quickly. We can manually turn it on and off, and that should hopefully help tide us over just a little bit longer. How much food are we looking at? We have... Oh, God, 1,000... We desperately need more food, but it's fine. It's fine. We have a plan. All right, battery complete. We can turn this on. That should suck up some of the hydrogen, convert it into electricity for our grid, and keep us sorted. Now, we only have a small bit of hydrogen here to keep this tidied over, but with that jumbo battery there, we'll probably be fine. Probably. Now, we can get around to actually doing some ranching. Yeah, that hatch needs to immediate. That hatch egg needs to move up there, and that hatch as well. All right, uh, how close are we on the ranching front in terms of research? We need incubators to do the eggs, but we already have the critter drop-offs and the grooming station. So I suppose time to get started. This place here seems like a logical choice. Standard issue, grooming station, two critter feeders, one critter drop-off, a little bit of room left over for a... Actually, we'll throw that in now. We need a storage bin right there. Damn it! There we go. Storage bin on the ground floor. And you can turn off. Yeah, I've probably overcharged that battery already. Alright then. We now have a... I won't say well-oiled machine, but it's a machine that's not struggling horribly. It's the end of the cycle, and we actually have 11,000 calories. Now, true, we don't have 10,000 calories of mush fry, which is the dream, but we, we've got everyone eating, even if they're probably going to get a little bit of food poisoning. That's fine. Tight little food poisoning never... Okay, it did hurt a lot of people, but it it's not going to kill the dupes. They're they're immune to well, they can't die from it. It'll just be, you know, longer in the bathroom. That's it. Look at that. That looks like an egg. Please tell me that does like 
every time I see that, I think, oh, calories, calories. No, it's just his hat. Keeps confusing me. Our ranch is finally finished. We can now send our uh, critters of... Wait, why is that outside of the stables? That should be a perfect stables right now. 97 tiles. Ah, yeah, I forgot to put one in the corner, didn't I? No problems, no problems. We'll make that a level six, just to make sure Brendan gets onto that right now. Go on, Brendan, take care of it. Uh, in terms of down here, what I want to actually do is put in some lights. This was heavily recommended in the comments because it gives a 15% work speed bonus. And I really should have done this a while ago. It really would have improved productivity. As well as that, skills-wise, I'm pretty sure, yep, Mads has a skill point going on. Uh, gotta do grilling. We desperately need the actual productivity. So, yeah, just for productivity reasons we're doing that. I think that's maybe the first time I've ever actually got something just to improve the productivity as, a, as opposed to, like, a specific need, like... Oh, getting a mechatronics engineer or something like that. And are we done? Give me some light there. Let's see how this works out. Actually, let me see. Where's the mechanics for telling us that? There we go. Lit, lit workspace plus 15% speed. Perfect. In fact, uh, let's see. You should also be in a lit workspace. Perfect. All right, we'll get one over here as well for the very corner one. And that should drastically improve production. 15% bonus. Really should have looked into that a lot sooner. Hey, what are you doing running on that? Oh, I think we're going to have to demolish some of these batteries, aren't we? I think we deconstruct these two batteries here, and we get you off that, and then we replace them with a jumbo battery or two. I'm thinking a couple of jumbo batteries could make this just a little bit more stable. All right, uh, that actually gets us too stable. Wait, no, no, we need to get a rancher ranching some hatches immediately. Mm. Once that second battery is complete, in fact, how much power we got left in the network? I don't know for now. Uh, we're going to head across over here. There is 4,800 calories just sitting there for us to go grab. Also, that should be uh, done shortly. Uh, at the same time, oh, we'll turn that on. And zap! Get off of there. Damn it. We'll let the hydrogen do the work. You do the research. I should really point out that Brendan here is smashing through that stuff. In fact, I think, yep, they've got a skill point. Do we want the Abyss Light Mining now? Hmm, we could get them improved construction. Their construction skill is only two. Uh, no, they're going to be heading to another planet shortly. And when they do, we're going to want them to be able to dig as fast as possible. And, oh, did we just really split stone? God damn it. Where are we going to put that? Uh, oh, I'm thinking... Yeah, down here somewhere. We can stick some bleach stone down there. It'll be fine. Just hope he does that in a reasonable time frame. That's really close to you. Go on. Nope. Nope. They're going to go grab some food first, aren't they? We have just installed our first hatch. We have closed the door. And now we can actually start with the grooming process. We also have an egg down here that's going to hatch in a bit, though. We should probably stick that in an incubator as soon as the research becomes available. Though, gas-wise, yes. We're almost out of hydrogen for powering everything. I think it's time we switched our priorities a little bit. We're going to go straight for the smart batteries. We kind of need them if you have any hope of uh, metering out this power control. And oh, wow, there is mealwood ready to go. Hey, someone will go down and harvest that. Calories are calories. And there's some more calories over there. And we're also going to harvest that. So that'll be another 8,000. Oh, actually 9,600 calories. Perfect. Few things at once. John Watts has earned a skill point. That puts them firmly into critter ranching. Hmm. I feel like I should have waited almost on that one. By that I mean maybe Leonard could have waited a minute, you know, since, since, considering it only cost us a couple of cycles. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think we put Josh into critter ranching. It's just they've got such high skill in it. They've already got an 8 and then this will put them up to 10. So I'm thinking, yeah, we got to put Josh in there. Leonard will have to scrub at a later date. But for now, I think we can just leave them on farming and cooking. So Josh becomes our primary rancher from now on in. Oh, what's the gate at? Gate is just about ready to print. What do you got for us? Salt water. Well, not going to lie. Leaves me a little bit salty all right. I think, I think I want another dupe. I know that sounds crazy considering, well, that we're barely just getting by, but... Calorie-wise, we are actually holding out just now. Uh, with the extra lighting increase to productivity and Mads getting a level or two, we're looking at a fairly decent cook who's getting us out. Well, we have two people doing cooking. We can just about keep up with production. And we only have, well, really, Zapier is running on this grill. We're out of hydrogen for the generator, so we need to get research done. I think we need someone just to run on the wheel for a while. 
and have them run on the wheel constantly, and that should mean we should be able to knock out the last of the science to get a smart batteries, which will skimp us just a little bit more hydrogen. I'm thinking... yeah. We choose someone. Please welcome back Sexy to the team. Turns out, yep, number came up again. All right. Now, I know this is not... Hmm, if I was playing this on a non-achievement run, I think I would stabilize a bit more before hiring another duplicate. But this is an achievement run and we've got a rush. We've only got a set amount of cycles before we run out of time for two of the achievements, that being Carnivore and Locavore. So we need productivity. But also, you know, we need to not starve to death. We'll see what we can manage. Sexy here is going straight into machinery. We need, well, we need a mechatronic engineer and, well, they're our closest ones so far. Well, <laughs> the closest we're going to get. They're going to go straight into machining and nothing but machining. We're going to take Zap off that. Uh, that way Zap can get to 100% dedicated research and Sexy can get around to just running on the manual generator or operating the rock crusher. Do we have enough aluminum? 140. I think we need a little bit more aluminum. We need two more pieces. Well, we need to do a smart battery up. Welcome to the world. And now get zapped in the brain. And pff, yeah, there you go. You'll be grand. Stick on your hat and get hopping on that manual generator. Wait, where are you going? What? What? No. What? Your priorities are set very clearly. Oh, you're going to actually smash up some rocks. Never mind. I suppose we do have enough power on the grid. Oh, one thing we're doing is we're putting sedimentary rock into these feeders for the hatches. Uh, where is it? Your stone hatchling egg chances go up with every bite. They just went from 11 to 19%. That's perfect. More stone hatches, the better. We're kind of stuck on what we can feed them here because our most common material is going to be igneous rock, granite, and sedimentary rock. Now, the, where is it? Yeah, the sedimentary rock is present here in the salt biome. So we feed the sedimentary rock to the regular hatches. They turn into stone hatches. The stone hatches can eat the igneous and the granite. Uh, as for the uranium and stuff down here, not much we can do. Though we do have wolframite down here. That is the only other metal we've got. We've got aluminum ore and wolframite. That's it. Is that liquid carbon dioxide? Uh, yeah, tiny amounts of it. Or solidified carbon dioxide. All right. Uh, we need to, yep, yeah, smash up more of that. Then, oh, Zaffod is definitely getting an awful lot smarter. All that running on the wheel is one of the best ways to generate skills. Dear Lord, we have 12,000 calories of mush fry. I think this is the first time we've been ahead of the curve. Everyone's getting to eat mush fry. I think we'll take mush bars off the menu again. Don't want anyone talking to those in if we can help it. I love the way our food thing is actually very, what do you call this, food consumables? Oh, the consumable section is very well organized. I suppose it needs to be if you want to survive. Oh, and yeah, that, that reminds me. New planetoid detected. I had a quick look through the... Well, never mind. Pay the bills. Use a duplicate skill point to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. Grilling. It was the grilling. Okay, that's what got us that one. And uh, I did have a look through this teleporter to see what was on the other side, and it showed us this planet, which is the flipped asteroid. Can't really see much, except for the fact that the top of it is covered in magma. But that's okay. There's a teleporter in there somewhere, and we'll probably survive, assuming we can get someone to go there. Which we should do pretty soon, actually. I just want to get some smart batteries up. If we get smart batteries up, we can save ourselves some power. Problem is, getting the research done and getting the um, the aluminum created. We're up to 190 kilos. Zaf is now completely back on research. That is their primary focus, so hopefully we can finally hammer out the last of the techs. And uh, where is our resident runner? Uh, yeah, okay, they're smashing up some uh, aluminum, and once they're finished with that, they'll be uh, straight back onto the, the runners. Well, once the, once the batteries get low enough, we're actually running out of conveniently placed dirt near our cooking section, so uh, I'm thinking a bit of a ladder system up here. We'll give them access to plenty of dirt around the, the back end. And uh, Sexy here is finally getting the workout they have been looking for. Though they literally cannot charge the batteries fast enough. Look at that, the batteries are still going down despite them running flat out. Though, that's even with the research not happening. Okay, so three cooking machines really does cause a mess. Oh, there goes the science. That's gonna hurt. Come on, come on, finish the smart batteries already. Because I'm an idiot, I did not actually leave enough space to get over this, which means no one could access this section, take out that lettuce, and harvest it. Come on, unreachable. There we go. Someone want to go up and grab that? Thank you, Brendan. All right, that actually increases their calories quite nicely, and Josh should be along so shortly to do a bit of farming. This hatch, of course, is is going to die soon. It's 88 years of age, but we'll we'll tame it. Maybe get two eggs out of it if we're lucky. Should he wait? What is it? 88 takes about six years. Yeah, no, we're not. We'll get one egg out of it. <laughs> All this effort for one egg. Hey, but it'll be a tame egg. Research-wise, we've finally knocked out smart batteries. Fine, give me incubators. 
Incubators will be perfect. Now we just need to stick in a smart battery down here somehow. Uh, actually, fairly simple. Stick a rocket right about there. There we go. Perfection. Once that's finished, we should be able to have a little bit of excess hydrogen, and then we'll have to put a smart battery over here as well on this network. And that will require us to smash up a whole bunch more rocks. And we'll do that once, once this is sorted. It should only take a minute. No pressure at all there, Brendan. Your, your automation wire went in first, so you've actually turned off our hydrogen generator, and the battery power is going down on our oxygen production. It's fine. No stress. Just don't take a break right now. That would be really inconvenient. There we go. Oh. Wait, there, there's no wire there. Hey, come back and finish the wire. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, fine, turns out we have a couple of hundred kilos over there of uh, aluminum ore. Finish the wire. Finish the wire. Come on. Seriously. Seriously, right now. God damn it, Brendan. God damn it. They'll be back. Just, you know, as soon as they're finished doing whatever they're doing. Probably eating, sleeping, usual. And Zap is... Oh... Yeah, Zap's got food poisoning. That was bound to happen. We haven't been too uh, careful about our taking care of our food. We do have some bleachstone, and we can get around to doing a clean food storage unit. It's just, you know, we're 23 cycles in, and we're still struggling to survive. All right, come on. Just just finish the wire. Finish the wire before you hit the... Go to bed. Thank you. Thank you kindly. All right, so we'll make that 95, and we'll make you... Oh, 80. Might as well keep it nice and high. There we go. That should meter the usage uh, meter the usage of our hydrogen. Then we can stick another one over here, and the excess hydrogen can be used on our main grid, which should cut down on the stress on sexy there. And then we can send a duplicate over to the alternative planets, and then we can start shipping stuff back. Wait, no. Gotta make a second ranch before we ship someone over. Yeah, we need a second ranch to run the uh, the amount of hatches we're intending on using. We also need to start building more incubators, so yeah, that's enough for one incubator. Eh, that's enough for two incubators. And then we're going to need some wires and things to go with them. Be fine. Be fine. No stress. Food-wise, we're doing just fine. We've got plenty of mush fry, lettuce, life loaf, life loaf, mush bars. I've actually restricted it now to two cooks now. Just so that we have a little bit more leeway. Everyone's so much more skilled. It just makes it so much faster. So Mads here has a cook cooking skill of seven. Leonard here is also highly prioritizing it. They have a cooking skill of two, which is not great. But between the two of them, they're either going to work the electric grills or they're going to be running the micro mushers. Now, the micro mushers are lower, pri lower priority. So Mads will always concentrate on making the mush fry, as in turning those mush bars into mush fry, which is much more sanitary. Uh, oh, actually, someone might want to put that away. Nope, nope, worry about it in a minute. But down here, I want to put in a smart battery, and the problem is we need some space for the smart battery. Hmm. I think what we want to do is sort of come in here and wall down this section so we can stick in a smart battery right here, right beside the generator. I am going to actually... You know what? We don't need that at all. I was worried that we were going to need the... Um, uh, what do you call it? A deodorizer? But then I realized, so long as we do this smart, we'll never expose any of the polluted water. We do have a little bit of sand we've managed to harvest recently, but we're going to... Up here is where all of the sand was. We were actually had no sand knocking around until just recently. Okay, good job, good job. And then once you're done with that, down a little bit. Perfect. Do it again. Ah, nothing like a little bit of micromanagement. And the last piece. Thank you kindly, sir. And we'll throw in a quick battery there. Okay, we'll make up 200 pieces of aluminum ore, and then we'll throw in a quick battery there. I'm thinking, yeah, things are looking up. Any other construction projects? Oh, yes, that was right. In here. That will go just... Look at that. Damn it. Okay, there's a li it'll be a little bit smaller until we can crack obsidian, but that's fine. It'll be a while. We have plenty of time to deal with that. Oh, research has been completed. Excellent. Right, that gives us animal control, which is incubators, which we really need. We can't build fish traps that require plastic, or critter traps, because they also require plastic, but we can build incubators. Now, next up, I'm thinking... Ooh, yeah, bathrooms. So we're going to need a water sieve to run the bathrooms, and then we're going to need the actual bathrooms themselves. That should cut down on labour, because right now people have to stop occasionally and use their strength stats to clean out the outhouses. Alright, but we are going to let Brendan continue digging over there. Oh, yeah, and we're going to queue up more aluminum ore. 
Yeah, sexy is right on top of that. If the power runs low on the grid right now, we do actually have a little bit of an overflow here, so we can take care of it. And I really should delete that pipe segment. You know what? It's not actually hurting anyone, I suppose, so... Yeah, we can leave that there. It, it's stupid, but whatever. Oh, that's one of the reasons I don't I don't have pliers installed, is because I want to get the achievements. And I sort of feel like it, it's better to leave any mods out until we get the achievements knocked out. It just feels eh, more in line with what we're trying to, to accomplish here. So that's why I'm not using pliers. Pliers is incredibly handy, allows you to snip things, but it does give you a bit of advantage. And we're trying to make this, you know... Interesting, interesting on ourselves. Not easy. Our little hatch here has been tamed. However, it's, that means its reproduction rate has gone through the roof. 17% per cycle. That means in about six cycles, well, it's actually more like 17.777 or something like that. It, it just means that in six cycles, this can drop, every six cycles, this will drop an egg and it will live long enough to drop two of them, unfortunately. But hey, uh, there's a 23% chance the first eggs it drops will be a stone hatch egg. And that's the sound of a printing pod, isn't it? Oh, we got a snazzy suit. Wait, ooh, there's another rancher. Dear Lord, did this become more common or something? Yeah, I'm actually tempted by that pawn. They've got strength and athletics, which would mean they'd be great as a gopher for just, you know, carrying things around the place. Ooh, a dog's body would be nice, but no, 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 no. We'll just grab the snazzy suit. We're already up to six pawns, which is probably a bad idea. Um, all right, uh, who should we give that to? Who needs the morale the most? You know, Zaf, you've been working away hard on that. It's always the science person who gets it, isn't it? Also, they are currently very sick. Yeah, sorry about that. You'll be fine. We could probably set you up with a doctor, but that would take an awful lot of effort. And where are you going? You are... Dig? What? Oh, wait, you're going to get materials. Excellent. Yeah, we've got 115 kilos of aluminum ore. We're going to need an awful lot more. Uh, hmm. Once we hook it up to there, we should be able to at least automate the power supply just a scooch. Second ranch almost complete. And second smart battery almost complete. Okay, that's a fair bit of hydrogen we got there. Dump some of that power onto the grid. I want uh, I want that rock crusher operating more so we have more aluminum ore. We need that aluminum. We need the aluminum so that we can make incubators. And those incubators are necessary so we can speed up the production of hatches. We're going to be using a little trick to hug them and, well, you know what? I'll show, not tell. It's easier that way. We're going to use every single trick in the book if we help it to try and get the carnivore achievement because that's the one that really worries me. When it comes to locavore, I think we're doing quite well. What are we at? We are, yeah, 208,000 calories out of 400,000. So we're halfway there and we're 25 cycles in. Mm. Yeah, it's still not good enough, is it? Yeah, we need, we need ranches like five minutes ago or about 15 cycles ago. All right, let me think. We might be able to stick in another ranch there, but this is going to get in the way of some of our ranch production. But that's not the end of the world. And ooh, is that harvest ready? Oh yeah, there's water weed in there. Hmm. We should probably go in there and have a look. All right. Oh, and there's more over here. You know what? We need to do a little bit more exploration. But I'm thinking. Ooh, and we've also got the other planet to go to. God damn it! I need to think. All right. The plan. Uh, first, we put down some deodorizers here and here. It turns out we've got a little bit of uh, polluted oxygen. I assume it's coming out of the bathrooms and all the polluted dirt that's in there. We should maybe just take care of that. And at the same time, I'm thinking, yeah, aluminum ore-wise, we got 155 kilos. We better crank that up a bit more. We need a bunch of incubators, and our research is not quite complete on water saves. But once that's done, we can start putting in bathrooms. I'm thinking we'll put in the bathrooms on this floor here because, well, that's in the way so we can't make it a ranch. This floor up here can't do it either because it would cut through that section. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a little bit of a cheat here. Oh, we could go across there, could we? Uh, no, it wouldn't give us access really very well. Uh, just, uh, we could put insulated tiles across there, but it would actually insulate... No, 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 never mind. We will put in our incubators here on this floor, and then we can put in another ranch on this floor. Yeah, how badly radiated will it get? It'll only get a little radiated. It'll be fine. People can walk that off. All right, so smash rocks, put in deodorizers, and finish ranches, and then we're going to send someone to the other planet. Oh, research complete. That means it's time for toilets. Where are you? There we go. Perfect. Soon we'll actually have the guts of a, a normal starting base. Uh, how are we looking down here? Plenty of hydrogen, actually. This is this is working out quite nicely for us. I'm kind of glad we rushed the electrolyzer. Okay, well, I'm not too glad. It did kind of cripple us on a lot of other fronts, but it is working out quite nicely for us. All right, uh, construction people. We're going to need this up and running shortly. Uh, I think that, uh, you know what? That oxyfurn's just going to have to go. There's no point having it there. 
and we need that space. One other thing we're also going to take care of, I'm thinking it's time for a fridge. And Leonard earned his skill point. Oh, Leonard is no longer in critter ranching. I'm thinking improved carrying. We need someone who can actually haul stuff around the place. Zap also has a point, but I'm not really sure I want to spend that just yet. We're probably going to need that for the materials study terminal, but we may end up using it for telescopes. I'll have to do some research on that in the background. All right, but I'm thinking fridge in here to help with food storage because because we're actually getting to the point where some of our food is actually lasting a while, so a little bit of chilling might not hurt. The fridge is now installed, and this will run at 20 watts in energy saver mode until food is put in it. And then as it chills the food, it should crank up power requirements to 120 watts until all of that food is chilled. And it's cooling it down from 120. Oh yeah, this is going to take a while. We have a lot of mush fry. That's a good complaint. Also, lettuce and lice loaf still have to go in. But yeah, this is going to eat into our power reserves, but that's fine. That's fine. We still have... Okay, no, we're actually almost completely out of hydrogen. Also, time to put in the next stage of our plan. We're going to need incubators. Now, each one of these costs 200 refined metal. And yes, that is a lot. But we don't really have a choice. Hmm, let me think. Ooh, I think we'll put this back a bit. See, the thing is, we're going to want this on its own separate power grid. These things take a lot of resources. Well, a lot of power to run. You know what? Give me a minute here while I clear out some space and uh, figure out what I want in my head. This is not going to be very pretty. We're going to use a manual generator to charge a jumbo battery, and then we're going to turn on the incubators just for a wee bit so that we can lullaby the eggs. We can't afford just the power requirements, it's too much, and Mads, did you just earn a skill point? Yep. Okay, so several people have skill points that I haven't assigned out. Mads, though, has already maxed out grilling. I'm thinking improved supplying. You can never go wrong with that one. And Brendan here, I kind of want to leave them available for excavation. Oh, you know what? We'll leave Brendan for now. Brendan can, uh, we don't need to dig any of this, uh, well, we do actually need obsidian over here, but I sort of want to send Brendan to the other planet, and if we skill them up, they will just have too high morale. They'll have metal breaks on the other side. All right, let's get this started, Brendan. Also, our research is complete, so we have now knocked out everything to do with toilets that we need. We've already got the sieve, actually. No, we need the liquid reservoir, don't we? All right, we'll grab the liquid reservoir as well, but then, once this is finished, we can go straight into toilets. I think we're just about ready to, what the, how is that hatched already? Okay, the egg was actually ready to go. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> we'll, we'll turn that one off. I, I want them in on this ground floor one for now. Hey, someone want to take that hatch out of there? That would be, be really good of you. Thanks. Yeah, there comes Josh. Perfect. Nope, nope, don't worry about the shine bug. Just, yep, perfect. Great, now we have two hatches, though. So that one is at 100% wildness. Any eggs that are the ones that you've already tamed will be already pre-tamed by the time they actually hatch. Which is kind of nice. Saves a bunch of time. Alright, we're soon going to have a second incubator up and running. Uh, then we can... Oh, yeah, two incubators? We're probably going to want more. Ew. Power is almost charged in this. But the plan would be we would put the egg in there, turn on the incubator, have it immediately hugged, and then turn it off. Once, it's, once that's done, we'll be fine. And oh, down here. Bathrooms. How far are we going in here? And how do I stop this water from escaping? Oh, it is the wonderful sound of the gateway. Don't tempt me with any dupes. Please don't tempt me with any dupe. Good job. Randy did not tempt me. We'll just take the sand. It's fine. All right, over here, we're going to have, well, I think six toilets or three toilets, three sinks. Actually, we might cut it down to two toilets, two sinks and spread everyone out. Considering the difficulty level we're on, we might want to make it a small. Yeah, definitely a small one seems like a better plan then. In that case, yeah, and over here we're going to squish this water out of the way by just building in tiles and forcing it up and out. As a little bit of a demonstration here, we've got this incubator, we've set it up, we are going to turn it on. We've stuck in a pip egg. We don't really care too much. And then Josh should immediately come up and hug it. Now right now you can see the egg is incubating and it has an incubation factor of 5% per cycle. However, the moment the hug is finished, that jumps up to 25%. Basically increases it from 5 to 25. That's a hell of a bonus. But even if we turn this off, bonus is still applied. So we turned it on, paid the uh, the incredible power cost. I think this is 200 watts, is it? Let me double check. 240 watts to keep this on normally, and it produces a lot of heat. But instead, you just flick it on, get it hugged, and then, yep, that's it. I think even if you take it out of this, if you remove it from the uh, incubator, it still has the bonus. 
But perfect. That will last as well. How long does that last? Lullaby. This is going to last for one cycle. I don't think that's affected by skill. Hmm. Eh, never mind. All right, let's get the bathrooms finished real quick. Since all our research is finished, I've decided some of our other uh, duplicates can come along and help out. This should hopefully speed things along a bit. I mean, it's cycle 28, and we've still got what? Ooh, there's another hatchling egg. Ooh, I'm so glad we missed the birthing cycle on that. Uh, no, incubate. Perfect. We can get this egg hatched up and ready to go in no time. Pity it wasn't a uh, stone hatch. That would have been nice, but uh, can't win them all. Oh, actually, you can be immediately turned on. No, nope, 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 nope. Come back here. That's your highest priority, buddy. Exit. And once the hugging is complete, we turn it off again. Saving so much power. We seem to be running out of aluminum. What the? Yeah, we are really stretched on that. Uh, I think we're going to be digging up some areas. Yeah, all you's gotta go. Perfect. Nope, nope. Not those. That should give us more than enough to tide us over. Come on, let's finish this off. Almost finished. Once this water pump goes in, we can use this to prime the system. We just dump in some clean water here. Should fill up the system and get it all prepped. As for that, we're going to need water. Give me 200 kilos of water, please. And Okay, well, okay, fine. Grab lunch first, but then get me 200 kilos of water. Our calories are slowly going down. We were on about 20,000 there at some point, so... Well, I've only got two people assigned to cooking. We might need to put on a third person or, you know, maybe send someone off planet. But we're so close. We're so close. We've almost got these toilets up and running and the only power it costs is the water sieve. 120 watts. But it's okay. It's not like we have that much power we could run anyway. All the coal we've got is from hatches. That's it. We have 917 kilos of coal, but that's all from the hatches we've been breeding. All right. Someone dump me some water in there. Here comes Zap with the priming. That's 200 kilos of water. You know what? We will call it a day at that and set that to sweep only. All right, that should fill everything up just enough. Be done. Perfect. All right, in that case, done, done. We can uh, leave that there for now, but I think that's it done. We should be able to open these toilets up for business, in which case these ones time to go. Actually, let's just disable them for the moment. <laughs> I'm worried it might have messed something up there. Okay, so we'll cancel deconstruct and just disable you. That means everyone should go up here to use the bathrooms at the end of shift. All right, how are we doing on the lullabies? We've got 0 0.2 cycles left on those lullabies and that's 47% done. So two more days and that hatch, that egg will hatch. Uh, this hatch here is, actually it's got a few days left before, I think yeah, that will just be able to squeeze out one more egg before it croaks. I am over budget again on time. I always am, of course, but uh, I think we did well today. The bathrooms are up and running, though they haven't been given their, their christening just yet, but I'm sure they will be. I also rotated the bathrooms so the two of them could face each other. I figured that it drives some people crazy, and also it just, I, I always wanted to do it and see what it looked like. It looks good. I like it. All right, uh, we've got that done. So we've got oxygen sorted. We've got toilet toilets automated. We've got a fridge in place to actually take care of our food. Food production is a little underdeveloped, but you know, once that hatch there dies of old, old age, we'll be able to make another chunk of barbecue. That'll be 4,000 calories, I want to say. Yeah, that'll be, yeah, 4,000 extra calories dumped on top of us. And we could actually start ramping up production here. I've got enough to throw in another incubator. So I'm thinking, yeah, this one won't be age up until another two years. Then six cycles after that. Yeah, we're going to, it's going to take forever to ramp up. But we can't kill any of the hatches. We have to just keep ranching them again and again and again. We're going to stick in another ranch right here as well. And I think once that ranch is in place, we export one of our people to the other colony. There is hatches on that other colony and there's Swedels. So if we could find hatches there and either kill them and send the meat back or let them drop eggs and export the, the eggs back. I don't think we can set up a ranch on the other side. We just wouldn't have the capacity. But you know what? I'll worry about that the next day. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.